This is Jeremiah. Welcome to the New Covenant. Um, the lighting looks bad again, but we're going to roll. Jeremiah is on fire. We have a big lesson today as it's time to start getting into the annual matrix, which is the ministry matrix. What are the basic ideas you're going to teach in this ministry, Dr. Jeremiah? Jeremiah, what are you going to teach for this year, for the coming year? And, and of course, next year, actually also next year. But we'll just say this year, and because as we just uh, segment our lives, a chapter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through 52 concepts. They have a lot of subtext. In other words, uh, we have our main idea, and then we're going to look at some scriptures and some support and definitions for those ideas, okay? There'll be a definition, basically, and then there will be uh, underpinnings, or there will be some further paraphrasing and some uh, descriptions and so forth, okay? That's all it is, 52. I've decided to dump the main matrix and use it as just a reference in your mind, okay? As we looked at, in the main matrix, we looked at uh, the new covenant making an agreement, and, th and that word means to stand on the same ground in your Webster's, and then you look at uh, sound doctrine, which is the basic teachings of the, of the New Testament for Christians. What are the basic teachings? That's what sound doctrine means. And sound doctrine has a lot of subjects. The main subject in there uh, out of all subjects in your in your New Testament or in your Bible too or in the Christian faith is living bread. Those are the basic requirements for a convert and a Christian, okay? That becomes your core uh, ideology. The, the, the main ideas you study should be the red letters here of the Lord Jesus Christ and Paul and so forth. This is what we really focus on. And we base everything on that. Now, in sound doctrine, there is living bread. And that is the main focus of your Bible and of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is called, if any man eat this bread. Meaning, there's a lot of bread you can eat. There's a lot of ideas you can think about. But if you think about these ideas, you'll never see that. And that's what we focus on here the most. And that's what Protestant teachers are supposed to focus on. Now, do they do that? A lot of them? Ah, wrong answer. They don't do that. But that's between essentially between them and God. I don't. I am not the living bread police officer. I will point out people who are part of the apostasy, who are not teaching proper doctrine and living bread, but I will not get into their personalities. I will not get into them personally. And we don't really have that much time for them this year. I already spent a lot of time last year putting up some videos addressing 30 in this ministry, which is sin and deception and so forth. That's 30 in this ministry now. Everything is under 30 now, dealing with a lot of what we call negativity, okay? Bad teachers, bad people, just, okay, they're in one category, and I'm not going to go there that much anymore in this ministry. I will mention that. Of course, we're going to have to mention a little bit because we're in the middle of the apostasy, uh, which is the falling away of a whole bunch of people who were headed towards being saved, uh, and they're getting into materialism and pride and so forth, okay? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Beware. Beware of covetousness. The Master mentions two things to beware of. And, and, and those two things lead you into number 30. Amongst other things that can lead you into the wrong, the wrong thing. Dirt, trash, okay. sin, things that God hates. That's 30. I have two lessons to review that I already did. I might review them again and put them back up again, which is Catholicism, a little bit of, and this is Allahhood. Am 
my buddy used to say, Jeremiah, don't play. Now, I'm not going to get into these two today. I don't think so. These are reviews of lessons that are already going, that should already be up under number 30, or under the old channel, you can look at the precise lesson. The old channel has precisely Allah versus Jesus on the old channel. Now, I will put this up under 30 now, and it'll be one big ball of, of uh, waste. Now, we have to study waste. We have to study this stuff. It's very important. But we don't have that much time for it anymore. For those of you interested in get a lot of detail on sin and, and, and all of these things, we don't have that much time for it anymore. Pertaining to these groups, uh, you know, Mormonism or something, all of these, all of these groups of people who are evil people, we don't have a lot of time for them anymore. We we do have time, but it's it's limited now. Okay. Only in brevity do we look at a lot of thirty in this ministry, which is hamartia or sin. Groups of people that sin together. All this kind of stuff. People get together, gang members, uh, the Illuminati, you know, or politicians, you know, or all these people get together and, and do evil and so forth. Wherever they are, we're not going to spend that much time on them. So for those of you interested, you can go to 30. I'm going to have tons of videos up there as to this bad group, that bad group, this demonic doctrine, you know, these bad politicians, I might have a video up there for those or something like that. But we don't have a lot of time for the dirty anymore. It's, we're we're going to focus on 80% to 90% now is going to be all the good stuff. That's why I spent so much time on beauty last year. I have a hundred and some odd videos on beauty. Talking about what you're going to see in heaven and things of this nature. So, c'est la vie, you know, that's the way it is. Bienvenue. So, if you uh, want to do that, you're going to have to do that on your own, more or less. Uh, we're talking about detailed stuff. I might give a quick overview of these two and chop them and check them off. Because I, I have to have reviews on things periodically uh, that I've taught, which are basic doctrine. As a matter of fact, let, let, let's, get, let's, let, let's get into the, uh, the annual matrix, all 52 categories. When we go to 30, for example, since I put those out today, I will give an overview of those and I'll put them in 30. I might leave them in the monthly matrix or what we're going through now because May's matrix was very important because it, it introduced the agreement, it introduced the subjects. We're, we're going to go over those again. We're going to go over them. They're, they're still here. I'm just, they're, they're just in a different order. Okay. And, and, and we looked at sound doctrine and now you should know or you, you're, you're, you're learning that sound doctrine is basically all the subjects that God wants you to learn pertaining to science, everything. You need to pay attention to the science of the Bible. Unfortunately, most Americans have not done that. It, it, it doesn't mean that Americans are different than anybody else. It just means that it's just something that Americans have not paid attention to that they should have, probably. Let's put it that way. For different reasons, there's a different cause for this problem. But the bottom line is, is that is that the Bible says, for instance, that up is up and down is down all the time. You're never sideways. You're never spinning. There's no such thing as spinning nothing. It's all nonsense. You know, and, and because brainwashing is very popular, doesn't change the facts. So science is is actually very important. It's not necessarily something that we might call living bread per se, but it is 
you know, it's, it's not to be trifled with. Obviously, you don't have to know Bible science to, uh, in depth to be saved. That's not the point. No Bible teacher would probably say that, who's a Protestant here in America that I know of. No Bible teacher that I know. However, it doesn't minimalize. And Dr. Jim would point this out to me. My fellow, uh, I used to look across the hall, and there was Dr. Jim. Uh, every now and then I'd see him teaching in Los Angeles. He was a teacher in Los Angeles. Just like I was, and I would see him across the hall, and I go, there goes Jim, Dr. Jimmy. But he, he thought that science was ex extremely important. And uh, I didn't go as far as he did with it. But I do ag agree with him, you know, essentially I do. Just not as far as he went with how important science is in the Bible. That you need to acknowledge it and so on, okay? Now we have 52. And I finally finished it. And I'm not gonna tell you how much work went into this. But this was a this was a labor of love here. This was and I'm very happy with it. I get no glory for it. I um, I'm just happy to have um, been given the opportunity to please the Lord with this project because this is where I can go to the old channel and put videos under each category now. And, and it's, it's the old, the old channel was quite organized because you could see every lesson. You, you could go to the front page and the table of contents, the first video in the playlist, and you can see all of the lessons snap, crap, and pop. This is, you won't be able to do that on this particular, uh, when I'm going to put up, uh, next month or so. You won't be able to do that. However, you will have the categories and that's a start. In other words, I had demonic doctrine, uh, I, or rather I had demonic doctrine, I had Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, etc. and they had separate numbers. Now, those three subjects or three playlists will be under one subject and that's sin. Okay? Error. Because that's what these people are. They are in error. They're dealing with lies, they're speaking lies, and they're believing lies. That's called sin. So that's why they're going to go into that category. Now in the old playlist, you can see what's there quicker. I don't have time for that right now. That's going to take forever uh, this year. In other words, I'm going to have, for example, if you go to to the table of contents I'm going to put up here pretty soon, you're only going to get the subject. But later on, you're going to go to number seven, playlist, which is beauty and heaven, and you're going to go there, and you're going to see beauty, heaven, purity, possibly beloved and love joy. All those terms deal with beauty, basically, because love is beauty. It's all tied in together. Then you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six later on. 7.1 is capacity. 7.2 is see, enjoy, and did you appreciate. 7.3 is God appoints life for a certain time. It doesn't exceed or exist without him. Or it doesn't exist or exceed the point in time he has allowed for it to exist. For creation to enjoy itself and the word is quickened or Jesse means the Lord lives, or Abigail, which means the Lord fathers joy. All those words refer to in Hebrew as owning energy and enjoying your energy. God knows that when he creates things, he, he knows that that, that that individual, they want to enjoy their energy. That's, that's basically common sense if you sit back and think about it and your brain is working okay, okay? And that's 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. Pretty soon it'll be up there for you. And there will be probably videos for each alphanumeric 
entity there, okay? For example, under 30, there'll be dirty, it'll be sin, and then, then 30.5 will be uh, Jehovah demonic witnesses. 30.6 will be what is Allahhood, and why is it a big problem, or something like that. So you got, and, and that's what you'll see, but that's going to be a very, very... Um, I'm going to have to probably do that in a couple of videos and put a couple of boards up, but that will be available for you, and that will be when this ministry can change gears a little bit, which means we'll really have a lot of time to read through the Bible big time. The point here in this ministry is to learn, is to, is to have a lot of time reading through the Bible, and we're getting close to getting to that point right now. I can start today, but I'm going to hold on. Uh, and uh, we have 52 I'm going to go through here, and I'm very excited about this. We have 52 subjects, okay, or playlists. We will refer to these playlists as we read through the Bible. So that you can learn where you are and so forth. And of course, this is for me too. You know, this is not just for you. Uh, this is not Buddhism where you can give your life for animals or something. No, 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 no. No, we, we give our life and we keep our life. He who loses his life will find his life. Matthew 10. I'm losing my life right now. But I'm also finding it. They have a bar around the corner here. You can go over here and do this. You can be crazy over here at the racetrack or something. I am here uh, offering up myself as a living sacrifice, which is pleasing to God. For the benefit of mending broken hearts. By establishing a sound mind. Got that? I know what I'm doing here. And I, I get no glory for it. I didn't write this stuff. Um, I, didn't, I didn't provide the energy for it, per se. Uh, the Lord provides the energy. He's the force in me. And it's not just a force, it's a love force. I, I have that movie that, that has the force in the movie. And they call it the force. We don't call it the force. We call it the love force. The force that I have and the energy I have is straight up love force. It's not ambiguous. It's not out there. I don't know what kind of force it is, but it's a force. And the force is with you, which is utter nonsense. The force comes from somewhere, and that force is either good or bad, and it either comes from God or it comes from below. There's only two forces that a human being can work for. There is no vibe, you know, no. There's only this energy and that energy, or this vibe and that vibe. There is no other ambiguous hippie vibe. That's one thing they got Americans mixed up with the hippie movement. Hey, bro, I don't know, dude. Yeah, man. Uh, woo, dude. It's intellectual to not know, dude. Yeah, man, I'm an intelligent person, dude, because I can't ascertain anything, man. You know, that's that's really cool, man. You're really, in, you're really modern, dude. You're intelligent because you can't say anything. Uh, for sure, and if I should run into you, they used to have a, a saying back in the hippie days, that's how old I am, they, they had a saying back in the hippie days, if we should meet, it would be beautiful. That's hippie talk. A lot of meetings between people is not beautiful. We have 50,000 dead people in the past year and a half or so in the Ukraine. And, and those people met each other, and it wasn't beautiful. This hippie stuff is no good. Now, there are some nice things about the hippie movement. Do you know what the, I'll tell you what one of them was. One of the nice things about the hippie movement was they pushed peace. 
Peace was a big priority. It, it went into the black community. It, it went into the white community. A little bit into the uh, 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 um, Latin American community. The Asian community, they didn't listen to the American culture uh, for the most part. They had their own community there in Los Angeles, etc. They weren't listening to our music and so forth. But our music was, this is a new dawn of Aquarius. This is the age of, you know, astrologically uh, a better situation. And everybody's going to, to be loving each other and caring for each other. And it's going to stay here forever. Which was called, uh, wrong answer. Because the next generation of African Americans, they began to hurt each other terribly. The next generation of, the, uh, of even all races and so forth, they began to, uh, home invasions went up 300 to 400% in about 20 years. That's not getting better, people. Mankind has not gotten better. And the 500,000 dead people in, in Ukraine, that's enough evidence right there to say that the hippie movement was one big lie. It is the dawning of everybody's going to do it by nicer. The UN is going to fix everything. Woo! You know, nonsense. Now, was it, in, was it positive on many levels? It sure was. African Americans started giving peace signs and So, but we're here to face reality and, and to tackle what we need to do. You know, a workman, Paul said. I have a lesson called a workman. I'm going to bring it over here, and, I, and I'll probably put it under general doctrine. A workman. Now, that's, a, that's a couple of videos on the subject of Paul and the Apostle talking about a workman. Disciple works. Disciple means discipline. Discipline means work. I learned one thing from both of my parents, that life is a lot of work. If you want to re relax in the, in the evening and feel comfortable, you're going to work during the day pretty much. You might take a day off and so forth, but in general, we got up, we got things to do. Okay, uh, discipline is what it's all about. So that when you do sit down and you work or play music or do something, all the work that needed, needed to be done is done. And, and that goes for st studying and learning and, and so forth. Okay. Now let's get to the matrix here. Now I'm going to get into the rapture tomorrow. Probably I, I was going to do it today. I changed my mind because the rapture is once a week. Where we go through getting caught away, separated, escaping, all these things. Uh, who's going to execute this? Where are all the beings going to be? Uh, what's five of five? You know, and 50%, uh, um, I think I put that up here as number 14. 50% uh, of the Christians are evidently going to be raptured here. Uh, the master said five out of ten. So we go through those rapture things like big time here. The reason why we're not doing it maybe once a week is we're really trying to create a foundation here and it's taking a lot of work. And that's good though. 52 subjects. And, and, and by the way, let, let's go back to, to negativity or, or sin category such as this Catholicism and Allah hood. When we really don't need to identify the bad guys that much. It's we we're here to help the bad guys, as you know. That that's part of our job, you know, is to as the Bible says to snatch them out of the fire, and and we do that by opening up ourselves to helping them and to teach them where they're wrong, you know. And I just went over twenty six in this ministry is which is how do we fix? How do we help people? How do we fix people? 
And I have a category for that, which is 26 in this ministry, which is reproach, admonition, reproof. And that's, that's, that's what we do here, and rebuke so that we don't get reprobate. So that's, those are the R's on 26. And I bounce around all of those all the time. I will tell people who are watching these videos to stop sinning. That's a rebuke. I will warn you. Paul said, warning every man. That's an admonition. I will tell you how to fix your problem theologically. How to build a proper gospel understanding the simple grammar in these red letters here. That's building. However, 26 focuses primarily on how we can fix people who are doing, going the wrong way. They're doing the wrong thing, and we're going to warn them and tell them exactly what the case is. We just looked at Psalm 50 where the Bible says, uh, and I will state the case. I will tell you exactly what the problem is. And that deals a lot with 30. The people who are going the wrong way. Most of the time in this ministry, from now on, we will not have a lot of time for fixing because we're not going to address too many problems anymore. We're going to talk about everything basically good from now on. There's no need for correction if you're going the proper direction, okay? Correction is for people who are going the wrong way. Let's get to all 52 here. I have the rapture up here. That, that's going to be that's going to be tomorrow. I have two quick re reviews over 30. Some subjects in 30. 30 will have quite a few subjects. 30 will have every every group of people that are going the wrong direction. We who are Protestants who pay attention to the simple grammar in the red letters of our lovable master Jesus Christ, we won't have any of this as a part of our daily bread. Get the point? Now as we read through the Bible, we will mention some of the confused people in Babylon. People who believe lies, teach lies, etc. We will address them, but it will, it will be in brevity. We will not spend a lot of time anymore. If you, want to, if you want to find out a lot about these people in these groups, you're going to have to go to 30 and just go through it. But later on, I will itemize everything, the table of contents, in 30. I call it the dirty. So, it rhymes with dirty. It rhymes with 30. I have a short, quick, snap, crackle, pop review of two of the categories of people in, in dirty. Okay? The people who are in error. But we will not spend a whole lot of time. Now, when we go through the book of Revelation, which falls under 16, that's prophecy. There's a lot of dirty in there, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time on that. on negativity and, and, and the bad people. That's the book of Revelation, which is, uh, that will go under 16 in this ministry, which is the future, which is the tribulation period, okay? The dirty belong to the tribulation period too. However, we're separating them, and not, not, not everybody in the dirty belongs to prophecy. That's the point. Some people in, will be in both categories. And that goes for all of these categories here. All 52. Well, they can be in this category and also in that category. And, and one and three have a lot in common because one is agape and three is you need to 
behave like agape and blessed are the agape and you know you know and it goes back and forth but the reason why we have these categories is for you to think about the definition and the main idea first because otherwise you'll get confused when you start reading your bible and i was talking with some bible pastors here recently and two of the bible pastors i was talking to teachers both of them were getting confused and the reason why was because they weren't going to the root meaning of what they were talking about. You need to go to the root meaning first. What key are you in? In the piano. What? Just don't bounce around. It's no good. Let, 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 let me rephrase that. It can work out for you, but it, it's just not the way that I teach and that I would want anyone else to teach. It doesn't mean you can't get a little lost in your Bible study and everything be okay. I, I want you to understand, okay? That's not, my, that's not my point. My, my point is that you generally want to basically go to the roots when you bounce around and things. When you mention prayer, go to the root of prayer first. You don't have to go to the root. But it's good to go to the root of prayer, which is what? If we ask anything according to his will. That's where you start, okay? Now, I have prayer under 1922. I'll, I'll tell you that later. I'll be right back. Maranatha.